All right, so it's the next day. Last night I left off with finishing the install on the high pressure fuel pump, this guy right here. After I was done with that and I cut the, the clip from you guys, I decided to take the car out and put it around. I didn't get into like boost or anything. Just wanted to see how the car would run. And surprisingly, nothing was wrong. Everything ran right, uh, no hiccups at all. So moving on from that, today we're installing a couple more goodies. To start off with, we're gonna start with the Grim Speed Boost Controller. Let's see if I can open it with one hand. Perfect, here she is. Oh, focus. Anyways, it's the Grim Speed Boost Controller. The reason why I'm starting with um, the Boost Controller is, if you see under here, to get to my charge pipe right here, I had to take all this off anyway, so might as well start with the boost controller first. The boost controller sit right here. So we're just gonna start with that. And then work our way up to taking off the charge pipe. And then um yeah. First things first is I have to take off all these clamps right here. All these have to come off so first I'll start with this first hose it's actually pretty simple I thought it would take a lot to get it off but I realized it's just just like that it comes right off and then I have to take a hose off from the turbo I'm gonna grab some pliers take the pliers off pretty simple perfect just like that Whew. I was told that it's kind of a pain to take these off. They've never been off before. Kind of is. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, there we go. First one is off. And then I pop this one off my solenoid. Yeah, it's a pain too to get this off. <clears throat> All right, we'll just come back to that one. Take the hose off. The, external, the external, internal wastegate, like so. Just get it. Perfect. And just like that. Oh man, that's long. <laughs> Boom, it's off. Sick. And then next, I have to just, um, I'm not sure if you guys can see that, right? Here is, is a clip. It's gonna pop that off real quick. Ah, I'm gonna move the camera real quick. Perfect. That's disconnected. Not too, not too shabby. <laughs> So everything has been disconnected from the back and mostly everything from the turbo has been disconnected. Let's see what else I'm missing. And then, let's see. Um, that's it. Oh, I have one more hose connected to the inlet. Pops right off, super easy. And one more hose that's. I'm actually leave that one on and see how it goes. All I need now. Focus. So all I need now is to take these 10 mils off right here, this one right here, and then the whole inlet pops off. And just to show you guys all the stuff I unplugged, I unplugged this clip that sits behind this right here. It sits up in this section up here. And then this one pops right off to this guy. This one doesn't have like a, a clamp or anything to it. It just pops straight off. It's pretty simple, honestly. I just need to grab a 10 mil ratchet. Here we go. Perfect. Not bad. Not that bad, bad bolt. 
Um, I also recommend using PB Blaster just in case um, your bolts have been sitting on there for a long time and you know from all the rain driving stuff they'll get rusted on there and I'd hate for you to snap them off. Luckily my car hasn't really been into the, in the rain that much. It's pretty brand new. So I don't have to worry about too much, but I still should use BB Blaster here and there for some of these bolts. I'd hate for them to snap. Uh, I'm having problems with this one, I'm trying to get it off. So I'm gonna just take this hose off right here real quick so I have more access to it. Perfect. And now the last thing, I'm not sure if you guys can see it. The last thing that needs to come off is this right here. This little guy. And then I can take everything off. Alright, so that was a little bit of a pain to get out, but I get it out. Everything's out now. As you can see. Over here. So this is what was causing me trouble to pull it out. Just this little nub right here. Focus for the love of God. This guy right here was uh, super in there, just didn't want to come out, but I got it out. Uh, just have to pull this off. But here is our factory uh, boost solenoid. So I to, all I have to do is take these bolts off right here, these two, it'll pop right off. And then we can go ahead and replace it with our brand new Gram Speed Boost Controller. Perfect, here it is, I got it to focus better. Here's our new Gram Speed Boost Solenoid. Uh, I'm gonna set it down and then I'm just gonna prop you guys up on here and then just show you how to replace it. All right, so first things first, like I said, just gotta pop these two bolts off. Perfect, and then, perfect, Oof. It'll, you'll have a little mini pop while trying to pull it off because there's a big O-ring on it, let's see if it'll focus to show you guys, there you go, uh, you can kind of see it, this is this guy right here. So now that that's done, it's pretty simple, they already did everything for you, so all I have to do now is just get this untangled and just pop it back on, like so. I'm just gonna make sure it's clean surface. Um, let's see, we'll show, yeah, so this big O-ring right here, you just have to push down on it super hard, like so. Perfect, she is in there. a quick wiggle just to make sure it's fully in there just to uh, squeeze any excess o-ring that hasn't popped in yet in there and then after that oh oh stay still stay still perfect uh grim speed also provides brand new bolts so you don't have to reuse those old ones that you took out and oh whoa oh, and some zip ties i'll go over the zip ties in a second of what they are used for All right, so I'm gonna stop right there for now. Um, reason being is it's I'm actually at a good stopping point on this so I can take out my charge pipe now. Uh, just quickly go over everything that I didn't say yet. You're gonna need this hose right here and this will be to replumb your boost solenoid to your turbo. And then you'll have some extra zip ties to uh, snug up if you have any uh, loose hose hanging. So I'm gonna stop right there and move on to my uh, downpipe, I mean not downpipe, charge pipe. Alright so now it's time for the charge pipe. 
all I have to do is take this clamp off and then I have down here I have to take two 12 millimeter bolts off and then also I have to take out my fan shroud and it'll pop pretty much a pretty easy uninstall so I'm just gonna actually pop you back up on the tripod and get to it Shimmy, just shimmy it back and forth if it's not wanting to come off very easily. Just like so. Pops right off. And also be careful not to damage your radiator while taking this off. And boom, just like that, your charge pipe is off. Uh, now, take, uh, take the O-ring off and put it on our new charge pipe. To, just to compare the two real quick, here's the stock one, and then here's the new one. I chose red, I really like red, that's why my car is red. <laughs> Alright, so now I have to fit up all the couplers and everything like that, and then reinstall it. Alright, so I took a quick second to set everything up and organize everything. So the first thing you want to do is take the O-ring off your old charge pipe and place it on to your new, uh, I'm not sure what it's called, but you place it onto this, like so, perfect, ready to go. And then I'll just kind of place it on the cup coupler, grab my clamp, mm, how do I want this? Perfect. Just like that. And now I need to put whew, careful this guy on here. Okay, so now that I have everything hooked up, I took this guy off of this, so it's easier to put back on. Now everything is set up and ready to go back in the car. Uh, last thing that is left is two hose clamps, one for up top that connects to the intercooler, and then you have this last one for right here that connects to this guy, but I'm just gonna use this Actually, no, I'm going to replace the snap ring. It makes it a lot easier just to use um, a regular flathead clamp. So I'm going to do that real quick, and then I'll get moving up top and putting everything back in. Alright, so... That took a lot longer than I expected. Um, as soon as I got down there, I just wanted to make sure everything was going right. Ended up being I had to make a bunch of adjustments, had to take some things apart and put some things on first, then put things together. So I didn't record that process, but here's how it turned out. So everything came back to normal. I mean, came back together normally. Um, it was kind of a headache. This right here was a headache trying to put back on had to unscrew this piece and twist it more so it'd go on again and then don't do this because I did it I forgot to put a hose clamp on up here it's hard to see but it's right here and I had to take disassemble the hose clamp and wrap it around and put it back on to get 
put it back together, that was the toughest thing in the world to do. But one thing I didn't do, because I want to show you guys in case you ever do this. So, Grim Speed provides you two feet of hose to re to replumb your lines. So, first things first, I'll show you. Um, right here, for the first one, plug that in. Perfect, just like so. And then you're gonna wanna route it down and to your turbo. Give it some slack, just a little bit of slack. You don't have to run into anything. And snip it. So I measured mine, got my nice little cutters. And mark it right there because that's where to go. Cut it. I want to double check to make sure I don't mess it up. Oh. It's right there. Voila. Uh, come on, stop being annoying. Perfect. And then for the last one, route it right next to it, right there. Make sure it's pushed all the way on. Double check, make sure it is. It is cool. So now, spin you guys around. Ooh. And up here, I want to loop these through. Make sure it's not, you know, on anything sharp. So I'm going to snip this a little bit. Perfect. It's sliced off. Out it up. Like so. Perfect. Whew. Might snip a little off because it's a little long. I'm going to snip it off on this side. Makes things a lot easier that way. Perfect. Now nothing is in the way. It's all clean underneath here now. I could route it underneath that. Kinda want to. Ah, I'm gonna take it off one more time. So I wanna reroute it through this line right here. Perfect. So now, look how clean that is now. Everything's all done. Cool. Now I just have to put in my uh, fan shroud, and we're all done underneath here. But you guys already seen that, so I'll see you up top in a second. All right. So it's all buttoned up. Everything's back together. I made sure to double check everything that I took off and put back on. Everything is good. Now I'm gonna. Start it up. Um, I'm not sure if it's gonna run weird or not. We'll find out in a second. Um, I'm pretty happy though. Pretty ex pretty excited. You know, it's another big step in the build. Um, and I learned a lot today, so I'm pretty happy about that. And this is pretty cool. I like seeing that red pair and uh, charge pipe. Well, probably do a little dress up kit to the motor, but 
that's the start. Looks pretty good. So I'm gonna start her up, set you guys back up on the tripod. Give it a few revs. I'm really happy. <laughs> I'm really happy. I'm so glad that all this worked out. Everything sounded good. Man, I'm kind of speechless. Um, it's just a really big step for me and a, a lot of knowledge was learned today. So um, the car is ready for, to get tuned tomorrow. I guess I didn't tell you guys that. Tomorrow I am getting tuned by Wally once again and I'll probably be off 18 PSI. Hopefully nothing goes wrong tomorrow, but besides that, I'm super excited. If you guys liked today's video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.